Turning now to the tropics. Henri making out landfall over the weekend as a tropical storm, but it did really drench the northeast with a whole lot of rain. And we'll have a look at the aftermath in just a couple of minutes on that. But first, we want to turn it over to our Weather Authority meteorologist, Luke Doris. Yeah, some of the worst weather was well away from the center. New Jersey and part of New York got hit really hard. New York uh, City had some record rain. All right, so here we go. It's basically stalled over the border between Massachusetts and Connecticut. Real slow moving, still producing some rain. Tropical depression, winds at 30 miles per hour. So it's really winding down, but still dropping rain and it will just slowly kind of slog along through Massachusetts as we go through tomorrow. Then it's a remnant low by tomorrow evening, but an additional two to four inches of rain is possible as it moves out. So Henri is on the way out elsewhere. We have three tropical disturbances that we're tracking in the Atlantic. A lot of dust out there that's inhibiting them right now, but each of them has a medium 40% chance at forming. Now these two that are out to the east, no real threat to the US. We'll, we'll keep an eye on them just in case, but they're likely to stay way out in the Atlantic. The more interesting one is this one that's in the Eastern Caribbean. Also again, a 40% chance that it could form. Now none of these are a threat to South Florida. There's no threat out there for us at this time, but this big broad area of spin, if a little piece of that can consolidate, then there's a chance that a storm or a depression could form, especially in the Bay of Campeche. So Texas and Gulf uh, are Texas and the Mexico Gulf Coast will want to watch that one, but uh, that's basically the breakdown for us. We, we look pretty good. Christy and Janice. That is good news. Okay, thanks so much.